the thing about the law of attraction is that there's so many different law of attraction techniques to apply. You just got to find the right technique that matches your current emotional state, especially when it comes to manifesting specific things like money. So if you find yourself very stressed out, anxious, and discouraged about your financial situation, then you got to understand that your vibrational frequency, your emotional state when it comes to manifesting money is very low. It's at the bottom of the emotional guidance scale that Abraham Hicks calls. So it's important to be aware, first of all, that you are where you are vibrational speaking, because then that can help you decide what's the right, right, right law of attraction technique to apply to help you raise your vibrational frequency and start manifesting things into your life. So if you're very stressed out, let's say about money, you're very anxious or you're very uncertain, you're very discouraged, and you want to manifest more money as soon as possible, there is a certain law of attraction technique to help you with that. I did my research and I went through all the different notes that I wrote down with the different books I read. And I came across the notes I wrote down for a book I read called Passion, Profit, and Power by Marshall Silver. And there's this little paragraph that I wrote down in my notes that made a big impact in my life because when I read this book a while ago, well, several years ago, I was going through a financial situation in my life where there was a lot of uncertainty and I needed to manifest more money as soon as possible or at least some sort of sign that something's going to come to me, that some more money or something, some kind of like, what's my next income or what's going to happen? Am I going to have to move out of my apartment? Am I going to lose my car? What's, I was going through a lot of stress and anxiety when it, comes, when it came to my financial situation in my life back then. And so I read this book and there's a certain part where it helped me understand what's the best law of attraction technique when you're in that state where you really want to manifest something as soon as possible and you realize that you're at that very low vibrational frequency. Your emotional state is not aligned with manifesting more money. So that's the first step, and it's important to understand that. But the next step is, okay, what's the law of attraction? What are you going to do to raise your vibration frequency? If, if it's so important to you and you're finding it hard to, to let go, then you got to do something about it, right? you got to make yourself feel better about the situation, but gently and softly and effectively. And so I want to read uh, parts of this paragraph that I wrote down from the book, Passion, Profit, and Power by Marshall Silver. He said, pain is pleasure resisted. When you put your total attention on something and experience it fully, it will vanish. People very seldom resist pleasure and quite often they'll resist pain. Putting full attention on pain and noticing all the subtleties of the sensations changes it from pain to pleasure. Paying attention to something makes it easier to understand and experiencing something fully will make it less powerful. Not experiencing something fully is avoidance. Avoidance makes things worse. And I, when I read that, it was a big eye-opener because I realized I thought I was actually dwelling on my financial situation, but I was actually avoiding the situation. Like, I couldn't face it. I couldn't face it fully. I just wanted to think of different ways to make the situation better, but I really wasn't 100% fully facing the situation. Once you do that and you notice all the different sensations that are going on in your mind, in your body, all the thoughts that are going on, if you just observe it, you're able, the information is able to seep into your mind. The wisdom is able to come in. And you're able to realize that there's nothing to be afraid of, that you're going to be okay. And once you really observe what's going on and without avoiding anything, to really face the facts, really face the situation, and by doing that, you're dropping all that resistance, you're dropping all the anxiety, you're dropping all the discouragement, and you're able then to start raising your vibrational frequency, which means that you're aligning with your desires, which means that you're starting to manifest that money. You're starting to manifest what you want as soon as possible. So if you're very stressed out about anything, whether it's money, anything else, just remember, and the, the quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson, there is no object so foul that intense light will not make it beautiful. That intense light is your consciousness. The definition of consciousness is the impersonal state of awareness. It's a sort of miraculous process that happens by just simply shining the light of your conscious awareness onto what it is that you want to manifest and observe what's going on in your body. Observe the thoughts that are going on in your mind. Observe everything that's going on and watch your vibrational frequency start to rise slowly.